it down a fluid angle! Oh my god! Uh, who am I? Ooh. Oh my god! <gasps> I know who I am! Um, oh my god! Storm Oak Boy 13! The storm's now arrived. Hi guys, it's Storm Boy 13. Um, and this video, I was thinking to myself, which weather vlog should I do today? Because I was going to plan to do something similar of gardening or something that grows. So I thought, I've decided, because I went out today, I thought this is something a little bit similar. Not completely the same but it's going to be about from this time of year because we're in June now different kinds of plants or flowers so just some basic facts and um, why does it come out at this time of the year so I've got this on my hands so let's begin Okay, so first of all, rape seeds. Uh, rape seeds, Bascarinapus, also known as rape, oil seed rape, wrapper, rapi, or wrapper seeds, in the case of one particular group of Cotyphaeus calona, is a bright yellow flowering member of the family Bascarinaceae mustard or cabbage family, consumed in China and southern Africa as a vegetable. The name derives from the Latin for turnip, wrapper, or rapium, and is first recorded in English at the end of the 14th century. Older writers usually distinguish the turnip and rape by the adjectives round and long rooted respectively. So Ruta bagnus, Basia raparasa are sometimes considered a variety of bee napers. Some botanists are also included closely related bee wrappers within bee napers. Bee napers is cultivated mainly with oil rich seed, the third largest source of vegetable oil in the world. Best time of the year. Uh, the summer is peak time for crops of rapeseed, but once pressed, the oil has a very long shelf life and can be bought in supermarkets all year round. Rapeseed oil from local producers around the UK can be located online and may be of interest to those who like to source their foods provence. So, not much is known about dog roast and culture, but did you know prime rose is a primary version, which means these grow early in the around February, March, so dog rose may come afterwards at some point in the year. But anyways, what I know about it is the dog rose was stylized rose of many for European heraldry and is still used today. It is also the county flower of Hampshire. Legend states the thousand year rose or Hildesheim rose, which climbs against the wall of Hildesheim Cathedral, dates back to the establishment of the cathedral in 815. A bit difficult to say, but typically they usually appear around in May and June time. Herb Robert, or another name for Geranium Robertianium, um, or uh, Geranium Moderamiensin Robertina, Robertina uh, sorry, commonly known as Herb Robert, Red Robin, Death Come Quickly, Stork's Bill, Dove's Foot, Crow's Foot, or in North America, Robert Geranium. It's a common species of Crane's Bill native to Europe and parts of Asia, North America, and North Africa. Best time to year to see them. It grows as a pucumpiant to erect annual or biennial plant up to 50 centimeters high, producing small pink five petal flowers, 8 to 40 millimeters in diameter from April until the autumn. The leaves are deeply distinctive, terminates to palmate, and the stems often reddish. The leaves also turning red at the end of the flowering season. The plant has little root structure. Meadow buttercup, or another name for Ranunculus agris, is a species of flowering plant in the family Ranunculaceae, and it's more than more common buttercups across Europe and temporary Eurasia. Common names include, as I said, meadow buttercup, tall buttercup, common buttercup, and giant buttercup. They usually flower from May to July, and sometimes longer, depending on the locality in the UK. Some populations are self-sterile. The flowers are visited by a number of pollinating insects. Flowering lasts for two months after the most, which most seeds have ripened and sh shred. The first fruits appear in mid-June and peak fruiting is in mid-August. Each flower head contains 30 seeds. Seed numbers per plant range from 200 to 1,000, but a large plant could even have 22,000 seeds.
A silly Dionica, also known as a red camp companion and red catchfly, is a Huparius flowering plant in the family. Oh, the, these are difficult names. Kari Palakaki, native through central, western, and northern Europe, and locally in southern Europe. Best times of the year will actually easily grown from seed sown at any time of the year. Okay, um, a woody nightshade, right, they come from loads of different other names. A solemn dolomica, also known as bittersweet, bittersweet nightshade, bitter nightshade, blue bindweed, amuducius, climbing nightshade, fell in wart, fell in wood, poison berry, poison flower, scarlet berry, snake berry, trailing bittersweet, trailing nightshade, violet bloom, or woody nightshade. As I just said, it's a species of vine in the potato genus solium. Family Solensines. It is native to Europe and Asia and widely naturalized elsewhere, including North America, when it is an invasive problem weed. Uh, typically, the best bloom time is in midsummer. An elderflower, or another name for it, is called a Sambuscus. It's a genus of flowering plants in the family Adoxci. The favourite species are commonly called elder or elderberry. The genus was formerly placed in the honeysuckle family, Capricolecchi, but was reclassified due to genetic and morphological comparisons to Adiox. In Sambuscus, there was between 5 and 30 species of debris shrubs, small trees, and herbigus permanent plants. The genus occurs in temperate and subtropical regions of the world, more widespread north hemisphere, its southern hemisphere occurrence is restricted to parts of Australasia and South America. Many species are widely cultivated for their ornamental leaves, flowers, and fruit. The leaves are permits with 5 to 9 leaflets, rarely 3 or 11. Each leaf is 5 to 30 centimeters, 2 to 11.8 inches long, and the leaflets have serrated margins. They bear large clusters of small white or cream colored flowers in late spring. These are followed by clusters of small black, blue, black, or red berries, rarely yellow or white. June is the best time to see them as it is this month, so that's why I got a picture of it. Elderflowers are one of nature's finest illegible treasures, and for me, well, that's, that's just that's my website. The signature well food of early summer. This is all the more welcome during the June gap, where fresh shoots of spring start to look and taste tired, and other bounties still to fruits. The elegant, sweet, heady fragrance translates into lots of delicious drinks and desserts. Occasionally, this delightful scent can develop from muscat bananas through musky to cat pee. <laughs> you should be able to avoid this if you harvest them on bright sunny mornings. Good luck finding one of them this summer. Basic facts. Now this is a difficult one, Rhododendron. I really don't know how to pronounce it. Rhododendron, it, from ancient Greek, is a genus of 1,024 species of wooden plants in the heath family. Um, either evergreen or discoverers, and found mainly in Asia. Although it is also widespread throughout the southern islands of the Albertine Mountains of North America, it is a natural flower of Nepal, and most species have brightly coloured flowers which bloom from late winter through to early summer. Acolos make up two subgenia of Robodendron. They are distinguished from true Robodendrons by having only five anthers per flower. Best time of seeing them? Um, not that easy to say. It says we are lucky to have so many variety species of Robodendron that there's never a week in the year when one of them isn't in flower. But to see the best show, they mainly come into flower during March and will give a wonderful display right through until the beginning of June. The flowering peaks from mid-end April to the beginning of May. Well, they still look pretty strong, and it's mid-June now. But then again, it could be something to dependent on the weather conditions. Oh, I just got three more to go. The next up, uh, foxglove, also known as Dicheleus. It's a genus of about 20 species of herpingus, pimmels, shrubs and bemmels, commonly called foxgloves. This genus was traditionally placed in the thickwood family shrubically, but recently fossilic research has placed it in the much enlarged family Plantagenesi. This genus is native to western and southwestern Europe, and western Central Asia, and northwestern Africa. The scientific name means finger-like and refers to the ease which with a flower of Dicelis can be fitted over a human fingertip. 
The flowers were produced on a tall spike, are tubular and vary in colour with species from purple to pink, white and yellow. The best known species is the common foxglove. Dicelis purpura, this perennial plant is often grown as an ornamental plant due to its vivid flowers which range in colour from the various purple tints throughout various shades of light grey and into purpley white. The flowers can also possess various marks and spottings. The first year of growth of a common foxglove produces only the stem with its long basal leaves. During the second year of the plant's life, the long leafy stem, 50 to 255 centimetres tall, grows up on top top roots of healthy plants. Larvae of the foxglove pub are moth consume the flowers of the common foxglove for food. Other species of labdure eat the leaves, including the lesser yellow underwing. The term gelatinous is also used for drug preparations that contain cardiac glycerides, particularly one called digoxin, extracted from various plants of its genus. Foxgloves can probably be seen annually all throughout the year, so uh, there's no really main time of year to see them, as long as you plant them in a particular time, I guess. Two more to go. Next up, poppy. And this is an interesting one. A poppy is a flowering plant in the subfamily Papaphoriae of the family Papaphoriaceae. Poppies are herb kernels plants, often grown for their colourful flowers. One species of poppy, Papaphosomium, is the source of the crude drug opium, which contains powerful medical alkaloids such as orphine, and has been used since ancient times as an alkalistic, anoactic, medicinal, and recreational drug. It also produces edible seeds. Following the trench warfare which took place in the poppy fields of Flanders during the First World War, poppies have become a symbol of remembrance of soldiers who have died during wartime. And I might know which time of year you likely see poppies from June to August, around summertime typically, as I see them tons around in each field around this time of year. Finally, the last one. Orchids, or another name for Orchidaceae, are a diverse and widespread family of flowering plants which blooms that are often colourful and fragrant, commonly known as the orchid family. So along with the Acornaceae, they are one of the two largest families of flowering plants. The Orchidaceae have about 28,000 currently accepted species, distributed in about 763 genera. The determination of which family is larger is still under debate because verified data on the members of such enormous families are continually in flux. Regardless, the number of orchid species nearly equals the number of bony fishes as more than twice the number of bird species and about four times the number of mammal species. The family also encompasses about 6 to 11 percent of all seed plants. The largest genera are Bobulium, 2,000 species, Empidrum, 1,500 species, Drembulium, 1,400 species, and Pertilius, 1,000 species. The family also includes vanilla, the genus of the vanilla plant, orchis, type genus, and many commonly cultivated plants such as Papalopias and Catalia. Moreover, since the introduction of tropical species into cultivation in the 19th century, horticulturalists have produced more than 100,000 hybrids and cultivars. Now, some of them uh, are any time, and some of them usually form in the spring or summer, some of them spring or fall, some of them winter to spring, and uh, some varies, and some from fall to spring. So there you go, they're all varied on orchid families. Oh, glad that's over. That was probably one of the most hardest weather vlogging episodes had to do uh, uh, so far this season. So there you go, another episode has been completed. I know it was a bit of a random one, but I thought like, you know what, let's pick up a, like a growing thing or what plants or flowers you commonly see at this time of year in the UK at least, because it is mainly associated with Europe. So there you go, um, if you were bored, Please no harsh comments. That wouldn't be uh, ready to hear. All right, but thanks anyway for watching this video. Um, I'll be might be doing a weather video possibly on Thursday. I'm not sure if that's happening yet or not. Um, but anyways, want me to do any extreme UK weather events for the rest of the week? Comment below. If you want me to do any global weather forecasting for the rest of the week, whether it's in the UK or in another city in or in another country? Comment below. And if you want me, and which next weather vlogging episode do you want me to do? Comment below. All right. End of the episode. Thanks for watching. I've got a lot of editing to do now, so it might not. Well, it's probably uploaded the following day. Yes, this was filmed on Tuesday. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Storms now out.